Sometimes when you run into errors in your code, they won't be syntax errors. Instead, there'll be errors that don't show up until you try to run the code. We call these runtime errors, and we've got some examples here. Let's make a working copy of this mvcerrors.py, and we'll call this mvcerrors-working.py. Open up that working copy, and here we have a demonstration file of an MVC model. MVC stands for Model View Controller. And if we run this and look at the output, you'll see that things aren't quite okay in the forest here. It's a couple of places where you have this bound method, bound method being printed out. And and that is not necessarily what we're looking for. So let's see if we can hunt this down. It says bound method duck.feathers, bound method person.feathers, bound method dog.feathers. And so here's the feathers method. This gets inherited. Have duck, person, and dog, and these all inherit animal actions. And the animal actions has the method feathers. So that gets inherited into these different classes and that's getting printed out someplace. So when we see this string in Python that says bound method blah blah blah, that means that you're trying to print a method rather than calling it, and it usually means missed parentheses. That's the most common thing here. And so Eclipse is actually helping me here because I put my cursor on feathers up here. It's highlighting all the places where it sees the word feathers. And so this is jumping out at me here, and you'll notice that it's missing the parentheses. So if I go ahead and put those parentheses in, see I was printing the method instead of calling the method and printing what it returns. So if I save that and run it, now we don't get that error anymore. And we have quack, the duck has no feathers, the person imitates a duck, and I'm gonna just say, wait a minute, the duck has no feathers, ducks have feathers, and I know that I typed in feathers for the duck. See, the duck has gray and white feathers. And so why is it printing it this way? Well, you'll notice that the feathers method calls do action for feathers. And what do action does is it looks for the strings with the action. And so the strings is defined in each of these animals. So I have strings here, strings there. So this is where strings is defined and it's looking for feathers, which is spelled wrong. And if I correct that spelling and save that and run it, and we look at our result here, we now see that the duck has gray and white feathers. So oftentimes it's a typo like that, and these kinds of things can be hard to find. The trick is to go through the code, to follow the execution path of the code, and to say, you know, this gets called by that, that gets called by this, this is the way that's supposed to work. And just take your time and be patient and try not to get flummoxed by the error. I like to say that computers have infinite patience. It'll sit there and stare at you with the error for as long as it takes. The trick is for me to try and gain as much patience as the computer has in order to be able to find the errors. So oftentimes these things just take patience, but the methodology is to go through the execution of the code and to look at all of the pieces that are supposed to fit together and try and find that piece that's not fitting together the way that it's supposed to.